Hey everybody, what's up? You guys have jobs? I'm trying to figure out when is my boss going to realize that I didn't take the job with him to actually work and I'm there for the snacks in the kitchen and to surf the internet. I was on a phone call the other day and uh, he walked up to my desk talking about, um, hey Kimberly, can you make 10 copies of this document? I looked at him, I said, can't you see I am on a personal phone call right now? I'm trying to lock down this manicure appointment. I got a hot pocket in the microwave and a game of solitaire on freeze. I don't have time for this right now. I am not trying to be a mover and a shaker in this corporation. Now, <laughs> my favorite part about having a job is celebrating birthdays because you get free cake and an extra 15 minute break. <laughs> I just hate having to sing happy birthday though, you know, that's like the worst part. Cause you always have like that one overzealous co-worker that has to harmonize at the end of the song. It's like, this is not a barbershop quartet audition, okay? Nobody asks you to crescendo and decrescendo in and out of happy birthday, all right? Quit showing off and be a team player and sing this song out of tune and without enthusiasm like the rest of us. Okay, you are messing up the curve here. And what are you doing with a pitch pipe in your desk drawer anyway? It's, it's ridiculous. We get our cakes for our job at this bakery called Sweet Lady Jane. You guys familiar with that bakery? When I was new on my job, this white lady walked up to me and she was like, Hey, Kimberly, is this your first time ever having a slice of Sweet Lady Jane cake? And she said it to me like I was one of those inner city school kids that just saw the beach for the first time. And I know you've seen this story when it's like a slow news day on KCAL 9. You know, this is Taekwondo Davis's first time ever seeing Santa Monica Beach. She was talking to me like I was Taekwondo. It was disrespectful. That was what it was. Very disrespectful. <laughs> on my job, we have those automatic toilet flushers. I love those. Okay, it's like one less thing for me to do in this life. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes they flush before I'm finished, you know? It's like I'm giving an Oscar speech and the music is playing over me. It just cuts me off. You know, it's like, wait, I'm not done, I'm not done. You guys gonna watch the Oscars this year? It's coming on Sunday. Get ready. <laughs> I watch it for the red carpet. That's my favorite part, watching the red carpet. You can always tell which actresses are like seasoned and experienced and have nothing to prove by how they dress when they go to these award shows. Like the Diane Keatons and the Mia Farrows. They wear like turtlenecks and pantsuits like they're going to a parent-teacher conference. <laughs> it's not a big deal to them, you know? Their outfits scream. I have three Oscars, I already slept with Woody Allen, I have nothing to prove. You know, that's how they come to the shows. And just pay attention to the red carpet commentator when they're like talking about what people are wearing. We have the beautiful Charlize Theron in a white Oscar de la Renta gown. Isn't she a vision? And right behind her is Sally Fields in a black and white Adidas tracksuit. <laughs> My goodness, coming down the red carpet, is that Olympia Dukakis in a beige leotard and some navy blue karate shoes? Wow, she looks comfortable. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Hollywood legend, Cicely Tyson, in a turquoise bathrobe. Doesn't she look comfortable? Man. Watch when you watch it. <laughs> You'll see. Did the movie Grease win an Oscar? It should have. That was a good movie. <laughs> Who was voting during in 1979? That should have won. I love that movie. I like the prom scene. Remember when Kaniki brought that slut Cha Cha to the prom? Remember that? 
she came up in the prom starting trouble. So I'm, like, I'm Cha Cha. I'm the best dancer. She had that low cut dress and she was flipping her skirt around and she stole Danny away from Sandy and all, just starting crap, you know? And I remember watching this as a kid and thinking to myself, what in the world is a 40 something year old woman doing at the right of the in the first place? Shouldn't she be chaperoning? <laughs> of course she's gonna out hand jive everybody. She created the hand jive. <laughs> she's dancing next to her nieces and nephews. They're all pissed off. They're like, Auntie Cha Cha, what are you doing here? This is my prom. Shouldn't you be cooking dinner for Uncle Ernesto? What are you doing here? Anyways, my name is Kimberly Clark. That's my time. Thank you. Kimberly Clark, ladies and gentlemen. Kimberly Clark.